people who attended the Franklin County Farm Bureau Legislative Dinner in Wellsville certainly got an earful on what may be facing Kansans in the coming months. State Representative Blaine Finch of Ottawa was one of several legislators who were present. He says the state is going on a spending binge. Finch says the spending on education is going to be so extensive that eventually it may deprive other vital services that Kansans expect from state government. The Kansas Department of Transportation is sponsoring a poster and video contest for the Put the Brakes on Fatalities Day. Kansas students can win great prizes and learn about traffic safety. The deadline is approaching quick. Poster entries must be postmarked by September 20th. Video entries must be posted by Sunday, September 29th. The poster contest is open for all Kansas students ages 5 to 13. Three statewide winners will each receive a Kindle Fire tablet in case from the Kansas Turnpike Authority, a $50 Amazon gift card from the Petroleum Marketers and Convenience Store Association of Kansas, movie passes from AAA Kansas, and $200 for the school class or the booster club. A total of 18 regional winners in the six regions and age will receive a bicycle and helmet from Safe Kids Kansas. About 37,000 people die in traffic crashes each year across the U.S. That's nearly 101 fatalities every day. Last year, Aurora Powell from Overbrook was a poster winner. The exclusive KOFO Weather Center forecast, tonight partly cloudy, our low down to 71. It'll be a sunny Wednesday with a high near 90. Wednesday night, mostly clear with a low of 72. Thursday, sunshine with afternoon showers and thunderstorms possible, a high of 87. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely early on, overnight low down to 61. Friday, there is that 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly in the morning. It'll be a mostly sunny day, cooler with a high around 80. I'm Don Elliott, KOFO News. Stay tuned for the following special presentation from KOFO, 1220 and 103.7 FM. KOFO, your sports source for East Central Kansas, welcomes you to this edition of the Kent Kessinger Show, live from Pizza Time in downtown Ottawa. It's our weekly chat with Ottawa University head football coach Kent Kessinger and your weekly chance to enjoy food and drink specials at pizza time during the show. The Kent Kessinger Show on KOFO is brought to you by State Farm Insurance Agent Keith King, Ottawa University, and Pizza Time. Now, live from the KOFO Sports Booth, here's your host, Bob Johnson. And welcome in to the second week of the Pizza Time Kent Kessinger Show on 1220. And 103.7 FM KOFO, also on KOFO.com. Every week we give you a little dose, a little helping heaping spoonful of head coach Kent Kessinger. Dr. Kessinger, soon to be Dr. Kessinger. <laughs> Some point or another. How's it going? It's going, it's going. Good to be here, Bob. It's good to have you here. It, it's good to talk after a victory, but it sounds like the doctor is in because there, there were some things that needed to be worked on, and we'll talk about that. But let's talk about some of the, some of the uh, positives. And first of all, I, I think well, congratulations goes out to senior quarterback Connor Kagey, who was not only the KCAC Player of the Week, but also the NAIA Player of the Week. And wow, what a, what a start to the season. 33 of 47, he completed 70.2% of his passes, threw for 432 yards, had three touchdowns, and then he rushed for 33 yards and was the Braves' leading rusher which we'll talk about that also a little bit later. Yes, uh, cringing. Uh, yes, the, the cringe factor is in, the, in effect here right now. And then he also had a touchdown rushing. So uh, he came out slinging and uh, came out running and, and led the Braves to a victory. Yeah, he did do that. You know, I, I thought he was pretty efficient with, um, you know, throwing the football. You know, he threw the ball away when he had to. He broke outside of the pocket. A couple times he broke outside of the pocket, I think, when he didn't need to. 
um, he had time to sit in there and, and kind of look over the defense. And as tall as he is, it's really easy to look over the defense when you're that tall. Um, but we we're working on that this week. Or we're doing a couple more pocket presence thing with him and all the co other quarterbacks uh, just that we can learn on. And, and But other than that, you know, 70%, you know, our goal is to have 60% or higher completion percentage. And when you hit 70 or higher, you're doing a really good job. This obviously, as we mentioned, a career high in, in uh, throwing yards. For in, and he really seemed comfortable out there. There were times where, that, where the, he had to, as you mentioned, run out of the pocket a little bit. But he made smart decisions. And, and, and last year, I think maybe there might have been a time or two where maybe try to force something or he did say there was none of that last, I think last week. Um, I think this year is a little bit more of a familiarization with our offense. Now the the guys running the routes are pretty much different right. um, but obviously he found a guy in Dylan Foos that he felt really comfortable in getting the ball with and and we did some things we we um, completed a lot of short routes this week and then that was kind of our goal was to be able to go into it and you know, kind of, kind of hit that short route, establish that. You know, get the ball out of your hand quickly, um, particularly with the with that three-three stack and all the different pressure schemes that they could put on. And and I think that's good learning for him. He did well in that situation, but I think that's also going to help us. You know, as we go down the road, you know, uh, a team like Sterling that we're going to face in two weeks. Um, you know, after we get off of bye, that's going to be a team that's going to bring a lot of pressure, too, and so we're going to have to be able to play pitch and catch. Well, and I think one thing that uh, that was really uh, – uh, that uh, people might look at and say, well, Southwestern, okay, we – Southwestern's defense last Saturday – was much different than the defense that was in week one against Midland. So uh, as far as the quality and how hard they played and how well they played, so it wasn't like Connor was going up against uh, uh, a second-rate defense. No, it, you know, from, this, from there, they were entirely a different team than they were their first game of the season. You know, they didn't have as many mental busts. Um, they did a couple things that that we saw on film that we thought that we can entice him with, you know, the, you know, within our schemes that we'd be able to pull this guy and move this guy and manipulate him. And, you know, that's part of the schemes that we go into every week. We look at how can we influence somebody to open somebody up. And we were able to play against, I think that their, their strengths to where we knew that they were gonna improve in sp certain aspects of their defense, which then when they follow their rules, they put us in a position where we're open, and, and we did a good job of manipulating that and playing pitch and catch. And, you know, I'd say the biggest thing that, that Connor was able to do was get a sense of where we were supposed to be and what matchups that we could, we could take advantage of. He, there's a couple times where he, where he adjusted the play call, which we, we have that flexibility in a couple of the plays, and one of the ones he... He turned from being a, a corner route to a post route, and that's the one he hit Dylan Foose on for the, for the touchdown strike. You talked about his familiarity now with the offense being a lot more comfortable than what he was last year. Uh, were you aware that he was a lot more comfortable during the, the, during the preseason camps, uh, and did it just become more apparent after last week's, or was last week uh, maybe a little bit of surprise? No, it, it wasn't a surprise during camp it, uh, because I think he really he really started um, becoming more comfortable. I could see that as we went through camp. You know, he, you know, if the receiver ran the wrong route, you know, he would tell him you're supposed to be here, not there. Where last year he would. Uh, he would have just thrown it in the spot where the receiver is going. And, you know, any young quarterback a lot of times or young quarterback in our system or new to our system, a lot of times I tell them, hey, don't make a bad play, a worse play by, you know, throwing it to where the guy went the wrong direction and everybody's at type thing. And I think that he felt more comfortable. Last spring, last spring he had some growing pains too because I think he went through the uh, – the phase of I think I know more than I know, and uh, was running around like Johnny Football out there, and and that uh, that only worked for Johnny Manziel for one season. So, um, 
I think he felt comfortable and he knew where the guys were going to be and and we did a lot of the same things over and over and over again so that was a good thing to be able to to get him to feel that comfort level and of course he has to have receivers to throw to and that was a big question coming into week one who was going to step up who 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 could fill some shoes of players that were no longer with the team and I think that some receivers were found on Saturday. Yeah, it was uh, it was good getting Cream Powell, um, you know, cleared before the game. We still had we still had two others that you know got to wear jerseys and street clothes on the sideline. That would have made a huge difference. And one of those has already been cleared yesterday. So we had to go through the weekend without him, but it got cleared on Monday. And I think one of them will be clear. The other one will be clear this week. So um, we'll go into the Sterling game at a lot uh, at a lot better depth within our receiving core um, than we did because we had to become quite creative. And then the other part of it is that though though we found a, you know found a pretty good player at receiver. We threw Colton Davis out there, uh, and uh, he's he was our you know he's basic he's our back backup quarterback, but. Um, during the week, we worked some personnel groups where he and Keggy were on the field at the same time, and you got to see that. Um, but in doing so, he had to run some receiver routes, and we just came in the second half. We said, well, let's put him out there and let him be a speed guy and he because he's got good wheels, and it showed. It definitely did. Dylan Foos, 11 receptions, 133 yards, two touchdowns. Longest reception was 34 yards. You had Dalen Johnson who had five receptions, 77 yards coming out of the backfield, 47 yards, his longest reception. Uh, Michael Amayo Jr., he, that was a name that uh, he was, he played a little bit last year, but really didn't make a lot of noise. Came out really quickly and established himself this last week, 74 yards receiving. And then you mentioned Colton Davis. And to me, I think the game really changed when he was inserted into the offense in the second half. It just added a different dimension. Yeah, it did. I mean, he, he was definitely the fastest guy on the field, you know, when, we were, when our offense was out there. And, and he's, got, uh, he's got really good wheels, like I said, mentioned before. And, and uh, he... He just has a really good confidence level that he knows when he gets the balls and the ball in his hands that he's going to he's going to be able to do something with it and and that's why we have him do a little bit of the run game and put him in the pass game and and he throws the ball extremely well too so that'll be something that you'll see us do throughout this year. And then Kareem Powell, you mentioned 66 yards and a touchdown for him, so. Uh, so that's really promising the knowing that you've got a couple of more guys coming up the, to play that uh, you were expecting maybe to, to be some real contributors also. Yeah, you know, matter of fact, uh, one of the kids would have been starting that slot for us, um, and he's he's pretty quick kid too. So, you know, if we can get figure out how to get uh, Colton Davis and, and that young man on the field at the same time, we're going to have a whole lot of speed. All right, we're going to take our first break of the night here. We've got a lot to cover. I've got a whole list of things. Plus, back by popular demand, we're going to ask Coach K uh, about uh, Area 51 later on. So is that random thoughts with Coach Kessinger? Random thoughts All with right, Coach K. I'm ready for it. Coming back. You've already told me what the question is, so it well, won't be as random. Well, it, it will. It's random in the sense of the subject, right? And we could probably have a guest, a guest for yep. us here. I think somebody from the crowd. We might just pull somebody from the crowd tonight. I think we should. I think we should. So that's uh, coming up here on the Pizza Time Kent Kessinger Show. You're listening to us live on 1220, 103.7 FM KOFO and KOFO.com. It's late at night. You've been visiting family and you're on your way home. You didn't see the deer in front of you until it was too late. Everyone is safe. Your vehicle did its job and protected you. Now you get to find out if your auto insurance does the same. It will because you have State Farm Auto Insurance through local agent Keith King in Ottawa. I'm State Farm Insurance agent Keith King. Let's work together to be sure your vehicle has the coverage you need. Call and schedule an appointment today at 242-9435. Stop by my office at 111 South Main in Ottawa or visit online at keithking.net. 
Pizza Time at 208 South Main in historic downtown Ottawa is very proud to be a locally owned and operated part of the community. From supporting our schools and charities to backing our sports teams, Pizza Time has been serving the area in more than just pizza since 1985. Dine in, carry out, or free delivery. Remember, Pizza Time is here to continue to serve up the area's favorite pizza. Look us up and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or just call us at 242-TIME. You know what time it is? It's always Pizza Time. To be you know you brave is to be yourself. What I've learned here is I've created memories with friends and I was actually really comfortable being in my own skin here. Everybody has their own personality and we're all unique here just trying to live significant lives and I think I'm going to leave here with an imprint that will last forever and that I can hold on to and look back at and laugh at and see that I not only learned something but I created friendships and memories that will always stick with me. That's what it means to be brave, to be yourself. Be a brave. Visit Ottawa.edu. Credit products are issued by WebBank. Member FDIC rates and terms vary based on credit history. Amazon is not a sponsor of this promotion. Offer valid for loan products 90 days after today. Other restrictions apply. See website for details. How do I feel? Awesome. Like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Hundreds of thousands of people are discovering the relief of a fixed rate debt consolidation loan through Avant. I paid off all my credit cards. And now I just have one easy monthly payment with Avant. And I don't have to worry about the rates going up. Avant offers you access to unsecured debt consolidation loans from two to $35,000. When I saw Avant was accredited by the Better Business Bureau, I knew that was the company for me. Do you know how good it feels to only worry about one monthly payment? Experience the relief of a debt consolidation loan through Avant. Plus, get a free $50 Amazon gift card after your first payment is made on time. To check your loan options and get this free offer, go to Avant.com and enter code 4646 when applying. Avant.com, code 4646. That's Avant.com, code 4646. This is a cow, a cow whose milk became everyone's favorite cheese at the craft fair. But cheese only lasts so long. The impression a small business makes needs to last much longer. And now Vistaprint is introducing free shipping on all business cards in any quantity. Choose from hundreds of fresh designs tailored to your type of company or upload your own. The choice is yours. The time is now. For a limited time only, get free shipping on all business cards in any quantity with promo code 3131. That's promo code 3131 at Vistaprint.com. Own the now. It's time for some straight talk. Look, you wouldn't spend more to get the exact same thing, would you? No. So when I tell you that Straight Talk Wireless runs on the same cell towers as the big guys but charges up to half the cost, you see where I'm going with this, right? Get America's best 4G LTE networks for less. The unlimited plan is just 45 bucks a month with 25 gigs at high speeds, then 2G. Straight Talk Wireless, only at Walmart. Savings may vary. See straighttalk.com. Family is big around here. We're family owned, family operated, family managed. And that means legacy. That means dependability. That means using Granger. With over 1.5 million products and knowledgeable product experts, Granger has whatever we need. And with same day pickup and next day delivery options, they have it whenever we need it. For over 90 years, businesses like ours have trusted Granger. Because, like family, Granger's got our back. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by to see for yourself. Granger. For the ones who get it done. Live from Pizza Time to the top of the hour. It's the Pizza Time Kent Kessinger Show. I'm Bob Johnson. We're talking with head coach Kent Kessinger about Braves football and last weekend's game. Want to let everyone know we are going to join the Royals in progress at 8 o'clock. So uh, if you're looking for them, we'll be with them at 8. The Royals are up one nothing right now on a Alberto Alberto Mondesi home run. So uh, that last report, one nothing Royals. Way to go, Royals. Hey. Woo. Woo. Yeah. That, after this kind of season, I think that's about as much as, you know, it's, it's yeah. Just working on technique and fundamentals to build us up for next year, right? Ex exactly. Now, but, you know, the new owners we talked about last yep. week, maybe things change. Yeah. Change Probably won't better. change in the season now. No, no, it's too late now. Yeah. Oh, and uh, speaking of awards, Ottawa High quarterback Caleb Kessinger ended up being... Well, I'll let you. I'll let you say you the proud father over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Caleb was uh, the Kofo, Crown Realty Kofo um, Player of the Week this last week for yeah. his uh, 
his on-the-field exploits as quarterback for the Ottawa High School Cyclones. The Cyclones who picked up a big victory, and Caleb uh, gets to be player of the week, so you, it's, you've got quarterbacks all around you. Yeah, it's uh, it's the uh, Kay's Gunslinger Academy, right? <laughs> That's right. I saw that earlier. Yeah, I, yeah. 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 I'm going to have to actually really start that, I think. <laughs> you better trademark mark it now. I think so. I think so, for sure. We only deal with quarterbacks that throw for 70 percent or higher though that's that's a good that's a good idea. I did uh, I did give Kegi a hard time though uh, during uh, practice and meetings that uh, I think Caleb, Caleb ended up with a pass efficiency rating higher Ooh. yeah oh now he only did throw it 12 times now Kegi did throw it 47 <laughs> times so. <laughs> which we definitely got to work in our end game because we don't need to be lining up dropping back 47 <laughs> times throw it no because not only doing that when he might get another player of the week but probably rotator cuff surgery well that and if we threw it 47 times and he scrambled on a few for his rushing yards because there were very few called rushes for him <laughs> How many <laughs> how many plays did we call that were passes in the game? <laughs> yeah, yikes! Probably in the mid 50s or higher. So you, you know you're getting back to the days of Ethan Howell. I think there. so. Yeah. I think so. Well, we rushed for slightly slightly less than what we did back in 2009. So um, <laughs> did there were some similarities. Run? You barely rushed the ball back in 2009. Come on, let's be honest. Well, we tried it for the first couple weeks and we found that we weren't very good at it. So <laughs> we decided. We we would live on our strengths, and there was which nothing we had a lot of strengths on the receiving core. If you think of it, out of that group, you had um, Corey Schultz, which is an All-American. Taylor Burnett was an All-American. Clarence Anderson was an All-American. And then uh, Zach Schultz was a, a all-conference player, and so was Andy Otto as our running back mm -hmm. out of the backfield. So as a pretty salty group, and that's why Ethan Haller was player of the year that year, I think. And, and America's favorite fullback, Michael Wickley, the no, bully definitely, ball. No, definitely, definitely. Wickley, America's the bully favorite. ball. Yes. I have to ask you, because I was shocked when, I, uh, when it happened, Matthew Blankenship was, uh, he was thrown out of the game last week for targeting, quote unquote, but I, I can't say that I saw head-to-head -head contact. Uh, and wh what say you? I I watched the all we we this year have three angles. So we have the sideline wide that you normally see, and then we have um, both end zones. So you see from behind, see from behind the offense, you see from behind the defense. So we have three angles on it, and so if you watch it on all three angles, you know he doesn't. There is no intent. And that's part of the rule. There is no intent for targeting. That's what I thought. I mean, he, he breaks down and he starts to go, go low. Um, and he actually try, looks like he tries to pull off. So if I don't think, I don't think that it falls under the, the total rule for when it comes to targeting. Um, I can see why they called it in the game. And I believe this is why we also have then the um, review process after that and that's one of the things the officials I knew as soon as it happened I was I mean Matt Blankenship's not a guy that would ever target anybody and that sort of thing I mean was he out of position what did the film look like and I knew that we were going to turn it in anyways um, but when I watched it it was it was one of those things that you know I definitely think that it, it can go in his favor Matt's favor of not being targeting I mean if we use the if we use the rationale that last year that the hit that knocked Kagi out was not targeting, then we get this one thrown out no no problem. I, I think that's all you could do is show that video, show that video, case closed. Yeah, no kidding. Wh which that was actually going to lead into my next question was, is there a review process? Can yeah. this be overturned? Because that comes with an automatic one game suspension half game half game suspension half yeah. oh, I, yeah. I, I, now yeah. did, did that change yeah no he sits out he sits out the next half okay next half yeah so of the following game so so how does that pro that process work well um it's uh it, it was set up this was set up uh, you know last year but it was it was taught to us again from the officials and if there's first of all they are going to review every targeting call that is made throughout throughout the year 
Um, and so last week I, I got an, a message from the officials. They send out a officials report and to everybody um, in the conference. And there was three there was three targeting calls that they were under they were going to be under review. Um, and then it told the coaches if you want this reviewed, you need to send us the clips. In which I had done on Sunday already. As soon as I saw the film, I, I sent it in. Um, and so it goes to it goes to our um, supervisor officials, and then he has a um, a group of uh, of supervisors. You know, from ones from the Jayhawk Conference, ones from the Heart of America, and there's another one that we utilize to be able to form a group, and then they determine whether it whether it was or wasn't. And that's kind of the same way that we did it last year, and and uh, with Kegi's deal, we sent that in, and we said, "You got to be kidding me! This is targeting, and how is this not targeting?" And um, he came back and he said, "Well, half the people thought it was, and half the people thought it wasn't, and so they decided to keep it as it wasn't." So, if half the people think it is, and half the people think it's not, then it shouldn't be, in our case. So, I but that's the review, and it goes to the commissioner's office, and and that sort of deal. A super group of officials, kind of like a super group in the 80s. Yeah, but I mean, I thought the officiating was really good in our game. Mm -hmm. I thought they did a good job. And, and when you look at it with that, you know, on a bang bang, and they went and talked about it, you know, I could see why they called it on the field. With the advent of being able to replay it afterwards, um, you know, they're going to, I think they're going to always l lean toward. If it's if they think it's something that's going to put somebody in jeopardy, they're going to probably lean to calling it. I mean, I don't think they want to call a targeting call if they don't have to. Um, but then they also know that they have the option to be able to have it reviewed later, and where they can slow it down and watch it frame for frame and all that other stuff. And that that's good to know. That, that and they have not got back to me yet, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. do you uh, do you have a timetable on how long that will be? I know that our supervisor official was going to have shoulder surgery, so he had looked at it and sent it on to um, the committee, I believe, on Sunday. Shoulder surgery? Is he yeah, I should. Yeah, it was just actually when you brought it up, I thought I'd look at my email and see if I got anything, and I haven't got anything. So Shoulder surgery from throwing too many flags? No, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm wait. Kidding. Hold on a second. Oh, uh-oh. Breaking news. Do, 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 do. And all right, after further review, this is breaking news from the supervisor officials. Um, we're okay. All right, so after further review, the play that you sent is not targeting. Look at the last clip, and his helmet goes to the side, so no foul. What the players. Um, what was the player's name to ensure the crew next weekend has been properly informed that he is cleared to play? So Matt is good. You heard it here first. Congratulations. That is great news there as, uh, and wow, we bring it to you live, live as it happens. I mean, I just got this. Um, I just refreshed it and it just came through. So there we go. This is why you should tune in to the uh, Pizza Time Kid. You, get to, you get to learn things here. Yes, the immediacy. That that's great news because that they uh, that they didn't see it as targeting. That is well. Great in news. I mean, in uh, that what um, our supervisor of, of officials mentions in this email is something that I saw. In a, he does kind of lower his head, but he slides to the side as to not to make the attempt. And that's and that's the thing where you don't get it probably in the bang bang. Yeah. So I understand what the officials were looking at, and but I also understand when you watch it on film. So uh, it wasn't anything that I was yelling and screaming. I was like, all right, we'll just send it in. So that's good news. Uh, Matthew Blankenship will be able to clear to play the full game against Sterling. But what I want to know is, is this the run game going to be cleared to play against Sterling? Is there <laughs> a run game to be found? Uh, we, we are continuing to work on that. <laughs> now I think there is. We just, we got in this situation where <coughs> they, our O-line just kind of needs to gel together. You know, they need to learn how to work together and they were, they were working as five pennies instead of a nickel, so that's the thing that we need to work on. So, uh, I think that we've got we've got the guys. Our f starting five guys are are going to be the guys, and and I think that now they just need to kind of understand a few more nuances in the game and communicate a little bit. And particularly, we got a couple weeks to be able to uh, 
obviously prepare for this 34 front, which is going to bring a lot of movement, a lot of slants. They've caused us a lot of issues in the past, but we've got to be able to run the football against them. We're going to take a break right here. When we come back, we, we're going to talk a little bit about the defense and uh, some of the things that we learned and things to be worked on after week one. Want to remind everybody, Friday night, Ottawa High Cyclone football back on the air. 640 with Gary Bateman and the Rob Hedrick pregame show. 7 o'clock kickoff. It's the first home game of the year as the Cyclones will host Spring Hill. And you can hear the game here on 1220, 103.7 FM, KOFO and KOFO.com. We'll be back with more of the Pizza Time Kent Kessinger Show. You're listening to us on 1220, 103.7 FM, KOFO and KOFO.com. Pizza Time at 208 South Main in historic downtown Ottawa is very proud to be a locally owned and operated part of the community. From supporting our schools and charities to backing our sports teams, Pizza Time has been serving the area in more than just pizza since 1985. Dine in, carry out, or free delivery. Remember, Pizza Time is here to continue to serve up the area's favorite pizza. Look us up and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or just call us at 242-TIME. You know what time it is? It's always Pizza Time. I came here to run cross country and it ended up being way different than I thought it was going to be. It's unlike anything I've ever been a part of to be on the team. Everyone is so completely different. There are people you never thought you'd be friends with, nothing like your outside friends, but somehow you all click to be the same and have the same interests, but yet completely different. Everyone's always there for you. It's not just about running. Fin friendships and families, like they're your siblings when you're away from home. That's what it means to be a part of the Braves cross country and track team, to be a family. Be a Brave. Visit Ottawa.edu. You got to the game late, and the only place to park turned out to be a little too close to foul territory. But you're not worried. In fact, you watch the rest of the game before you even go check the damage. How can you be so confident? Your auto insurance is with local State Farm agent Keith King. There's a reason State Farm is the largest auto insurer in the U.S. I'm State Farm insurance agent Keith King. Let's work together to be sure your vehicle has the coverage you need. Call and schedule an appointment today at 242-9435. Stop by my office at 111 South Main in Ottawa or visit online at keithking.net. It's not easy crushing it like a boss and looking like a goddess. We can't help with your busy schedule, but if you aren't eating everything you should and feel a little guilty, GNC Women's Ultra Mega One Daily Multivitamins can help support your immune health for only $9.99. That's a 50% price reduction. With GNC Women's Ultra Mega One Daily Multis, you get the best support for your immune system, plus collagen for hair, skin, and nails, and a whole lot more. Stop in GNC or visit gnc.com slash multis to get all your wellness essentials starting at $9.99. Prescription products require an online physician consultation and are only available if the physician determines a prescription is appropriate. Subscription required. See website for full details and important safety information. Hey guys, good news. The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices. And Hims makes it extra affordable. And right now, get your first online visit totally free when you go to forhims.com slash joy. Sure beats paying for an in-office doctor's appointment, doesn't it? Plus, you won't need to deal with awkward face-to-face -face conversations to get your prescription. Hims connects you to doctors online who can evaluate you and if appropriate appropriate, prescribe the medication, and a pharmacy sends it right to your door. Hims makes it affordable, private, and incredibly easy. Nobody likes dealing with ED. Now, thanks to Hims, nobody has to. And that's really good news. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, forhims.com slash joy. That's forhims.com slash joy for your free online visit. F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash joy. Now's the time to travel and be with the people you care about the most. And at Holiday Inn and Holiday Inn Express, we're helping you be there for less. Save at least 25% at thousands of hotels worldwide if you book by September 24th. You won't want this moment to pass you by. So book today at HolidayInn.com. Terms and conditions apply. It's time for some straight talk. Look, you wouldn't spend more to get the exact same thing, would you? No. So when I tell you that Straight Talk Wireless runs on the same cell towers as the big guys but charges up to half the cost, you see where I'm going with this, right? Get America's best 4G LTE networks for less. The unlimited plan is just 45 bucks a month with 25 gigs at high speeds, then 2G. Straight Talk Wireless, only at Walmart. Savings may vary. See straighttalk.com. 
Welcome back to the Pizza Time Kent Kessinger Show. Bob Johnson here till the top of the hour at Pizza Time. We'll join the Royals in progress. Last score update that we had, the Royals were down 4-1 to one as uh, the White Sox had just hit a home run. So uh, we will join that in progress. Stick around for that. But uh, right now we have football royalty sitting with us. I, I, that's all you can say when you have a National Player of the Week sitting across. I mean, just week one right out of the gates for Ottawa. And uh, Connor Kagi, the senior quarterback, joins us. Connor, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And congratulations on being Player of the Week. Uh, you know, nobody goes out there and, and, and it calls their shot, but uh, it must feel nice to first game out of the gate and uh, to play as well as you did. Yeah, it feels, uh, feels nice. Um, I definitely wanted to start this year off right, um, and I think I definitely st started with the right foot forward. Um, and, you know, it was a game coming in that we knew that, you know, we could possibly take advantage through the air with these guys, and that was our whole game plan and thought process, and um, that's what I wanted to happen, and uh, we did pretty well with that. 47 pass attempts. You completed 70% of them. That's, uh, that's not too shabby there. Right. And uh, how's the arm feeling? Uh, it was sore yesterday um, and the day before, but today it feels a little bit better. So, uh, I mean, it's I've just been icing it and taking care of it. And so. so, so walk me through that then, because we, you know, for for people who go through and, and throw a football around, just having fun with their kids or friends or whatever, you know, you, you don't think about it, but you go out there and you're taking hits, you're getting beat up, and you throw it that many times during game, plus your warm ups and and that. How, how do you take care of an arm afterwards? Um, it, it definitely factors in the fact that, you know, on top of throwing that many times, you, do, you get hit. Um, you take hits, and um, you're, you're running pretty hard throughout the whole three to four hours you're out there. Um, but really, it's just about uh, icing it, taking Advil, and um, my, my parents always are on top of that, making sure I do that. So I always have a good support system, making sure I take care of it so and then you get to come and have pizza yeah it's a good time not a bad deal so uh who's your compadre here that's uh, at the table this is coach Stu, wide receivers coach uh <laughs> so uh coach Stu hanging out getting some pizza too that's not a bad deal uh, he, uh, he also wore number 10 so oh, got a <laughs> for one year uh, for his glory but, year. But he's That's what matters. <laughs> his glory year. Wow, that is. We're breaking news and taking low shots at people here on tonight's edition. Fantastic stuff. That, that, that's that's great. So, so uh, you guys get to come down here and 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 have and have pizza. I, I want you to walk me through the touchdown pass to Connor uh, to uh, Dylan Foose. Uh, kinda, it looks like that maybe you changed the play at the line, found him wide open. Uh, walk us through that play. So on that play, um, Dylan Foose actually was supposed to break out um, and run a kind of a deep corner um, to where probably the front pylon would be. Um, but as soon as we lined up in our formation and I was getting ready to say the snap count, I noticed their safety widening out kind of to where Foose was going to be. And uh, we have a little number system that we can just flip out a number to the receiver and it changes their route to whatever the number is. And so I flipped them the post route because I saw that we could take advantage of the middle of the field uh, that they were giving it to us. Um, and we hadn't run many post routes, and so they were expecting the corner. And right before the snap, I just flipped him the nine, and um, and I, I think it was pretty discreet. And he was able, we were able to take advantage of it. He got to the right spot, and I just put the ball where he, he was going to be. Well, you flipped him a nine. At least it wasn't a number one. That's the important <laughs> part. So, uh, and and, it, and it, it resulted in a touchdown, and I it really uh, it, it was and it was a nice, uh, pretty passes thrown by, by the way on on Saturday. And there there were there were times where I don't know. It just it, as you're watching it, it's like that's it seems like it's taken a little while for it to get there, but it's just so fun to watch. A, a nice tight spiral, but they always find their mark. Is was it? Did you always intend to be a quarterback? Or was this something that you had from a young age? Yeah, so I started playing football at age six, and I think um, about 
age seven or eight, it was when I really moved to the quarterback position. I think it was something my dad was pushing. And uh, as soon as I embraced it, I, I loved it and knew I always wanted to be quarterback. And um, that's sort of the, what landed me here was um, realizing that, that that was my life goal was to you know play quarterback uh, specifically. And, and luckily, I, I went, made the decision I, I made to, to get here. And um, I think it's worked out for me pretty well so far. Now, tell me how you handle because uh, there's chatter that you know there there might be interest in you outside of Ottawa University once your football career is done, i.e. the pros. Uh, do you is that something that you ever think about, or is that something you, that hey, you know, right now I, I I'm, my focus is on the team and this is what what I'm doing and whatever happens happens. Right, it's it's something that's definitely um, I've always dreamed about, and and it it is in the back of my head. But right now, the focus is um, the team and, and winning a conference championship and making a run to the national championship, um, and that's that's something as a leader that that you've got to take care of um, before you think of anything else um, outside of that. So um, for me, you know, it, it's great, and if it if it happens, it happens. But it, it's not going to happen unless you know, as a team, we have a great year. Um, I individually have a great year, a great leadership uh, role, and execute that. Um, and so I, I really just try to um, shift all my focus into uh, what we can do this year, the 2019 Braves. And with that being said, when when you come away from Ottawa with your with your degree, what do you plan to do after after college? Um, so actually, just last night I made uh, some plans to. I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, and I had a good buddy that I, I trained with down there and um, he runs a combine program every year and um, I just was talking to him last night and so probably right after graduation a couple, week, couple weeks after um, I will uh, go down to Florida and train with him um, for a combine and, and get ready to, uh, to do that um, and, and give it my best shot um, and then I will have a, a degree in, in business administration and, and hopefully eventually do something with that. Um, and I, I've always wanted to um, do something with marketing and business of some sort. So, it sounds like a pretty, uh, pretty solid plan in place for afterwards. So uh, that's good to hear. And I, again, congratulations on uh, Player of the Week, n not only just for the conference but nationally, and and for such a, a hot start. Thank you very much. So that's we're gonna we're gonna take our final break of the night here. We might let Connor hang around here because we are gonna have random thoughts with Coach K. We might see if, if Connor has some random has some answers to the random thought too uh, when it, when we come back. So we're gonna do this again by popular demand the second week in a row when we come back. You're listening to the Pizza Time Kent Kessinger Show on 1220 and 103.7 FM KOFO. What it means to be an OU Brave is to be yourself. What I've learned here is I've created memories with friends, and I was actually really comfortable being in my own skin here. Everybody has their own personality, and we're all unique here, just trying to live significant lives. And I think I'm going to leave here with an imprint that will last forever and that I can hold on to and look back at and laugh at and see that I not only learned something, but I created friendships and memories that will always stick with me. That's what it means to be brave, to be yourself. Be a brave. Visit Ottawa.edu. Let's face it, auto insurance can be confusing. Do you know you're comprehensive from your collision, your no-fault from liability, your premium from your deductible? After an accident is no time to find out that your definition of full coverage is actually different from what your policy says. Let local State Farm Insurance agent Keith King explain auto insurance in terms you can understand. I'm State Farm Insurance agent Keith King. Let's work together to be sure your vehicle has the coverage you need. Call and schedule an appointment today at 242-9435. Stop by my office at 111 South Main in Ottawa or visit online at keithking.net. Pizza Time at 208 South Main in historic downtown Ottawa is very proud to be a locally owned and operated part of the community. From supporting our schools and charities to backing our sports teams, Pizza Time has been serving the area in more than just pizza since 1985. Dine in, carry out, or free delivery. Remember, Pizza Time is here to continue to serve up the area's favorite pizza. Look us up and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or just call us at 242-TIME. You know what time it is? It's always Pizza Time. 
It may not be stomach issues. For me, it's intense gas, or pain, or diarrhea, sometimes all at once, over and over. I spent years with the symptoms, but could never figure it out. No matter what I did, they never went away. So I decided to break it down for my doctor and get really specific about my symptoms. We discovered that exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI, may be the reason for my stomach issues. EPI is caused by my pancreas. It leads to diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, unexplained weight loss, and oily stools. The symptoms just don't go away. But EPI can show up with even one symptom. The good news? EPI is manageable. But to get to the right diagnosis, you have to break it down for your doctor and get specific about the severity of your symptoms. Visit IdentifyEPI.com to learn more and use the symptom checker to help change the conversation with your doctor. Brought to you by AbbVie. Now's the time to travel and be with the people you care about the most. And at Holiday Inn and Holiday Inn Express, we're helping you be there for less. Save at least 25% at thousands of hotels worldwide if you book by September 24th. You won't want this moment to pass you by. So book today at HolidayInn.com. Terms and conditions apply. Prescription products require an online physician consultation and are only available if the physician determines a prescription is appropriate. Subscription required. See website for full details and important safety information. Hey guys, good news. The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices. And Hims makes it extra affordable. And right now, get your first online visit totally free when you go to forhims.com slash joy. Sure beats paying for an in-office doctor's appointment, doesn't it? Plus, you won't need to deal with awkward face-to-face -face conversations to get your prescription. Hems connects you to doctors online who can evaluate you and, if appropriate, prescribe the medication. And a pharmacy sends it right to your door. Hems makes it affordable, private, and incredibly easy. Nobody likes dealing with ED. Now, thanks to Hems, nobody has to. And that's really good news. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, forhems.com slash joy. That's forhems.com slash joy for your free online visit. F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash joy. It's time for some straight talk. Look, you wouldn't spend more to get the exact same thing, would you? No. So when I tell you that Straight Talk Wireless runs on the same cell towers as the big guys but charges up to half the cost, you see where I'm going with this, right? Get America's best 4G LTE networks for less. The unlimited plan is just 45 bucks a month with 25 gigs at high speeds then 2G. Straight Talk Wireless, only at Walmart. Savings may vary. See straighttalk.com. Final segment here on the big show this evening, the Pizza Time Kit Kessinger Show. And uh, the Royals are now within one, four to three. Homers by Gordon and O'Hearn in the top of the second, or in the bottom of the second, excuse me. So we'll join that at the top of the hour as uh, we roll on here and good interview with uh, with your quarterback there Connor Kagi. Yeah, yeah, he carried himself pretty well in the show. Did very well. Yeah. I would have to rate that one of the one of the top performances. You think so? Yeah. Well, he's a little bit older. Well, he's been through the through the battles once or twice. I mean I mean out of all the players that we've had on the show through the years uh, that was at least a top fiver. Grows a really bad mustache though. Oh, well that's yeah. that's bad news. Yeah. <laughs> At least he's got the full. He's yeah, got he went for the whole thing. He's, he's got, got that Iron Man look going Definitely. there. Definitely, he's got to look for that. Yeah, uh, you got to take care of those knees. Did you see that knee? Oh, uh, well, you know that when the giraffe goes down, it's a. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, when the giraffe decides that he's more um, Ezekiel Elliott as opposed to the tall guy, you know, it doesn't really work out. Yeah. That's a lot of things hitting. He's his knee is a. You know, like three knees. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no graceful falling down for him. Uh, no, no, no. It's just a long ways to go. It's like watching a tree fall in the forest. Uh, does it make a noise though? Uh, that's yet to be. You know, a we have grunt maybe. <laughs> I think it does. I think if a tall keggy tree falls in the forest, it does make a grunt. 
uh, <laughs> of some sort. <laughs> so you, he scrambles better than Bernie Kosar, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got good feet. Yeah, I mean. Got good feet. You got to remind him not to pull the ball all the time. He thinks everything's a replay. Because Bernie, so. it's, you know, he's to the 30, to the 31, he's down. Right. You know, at right. least with Connor, he gets yardage. No, he does. He yeah. is, he's all about positive yards. Yes. So Positive man. Yeah. We've got to say hi to people, by the yeah, way. Yeah, you know, we've been so busy with stuff, we've got our hellos yeah, toward the end of our goodbyes. Exactly. Hi, hi, Amy. How are you? Hello, in-laws. For yep, in-laws. Li listen to Little River. My uh, mother-in-law got a, got her new eye patch, which she's hopefully watching, listening, or whatever on tonight. Fantastic. Hello to Doris and Jim Grogan. Yes. The uh, the modem back at the station, the toaster. You know, your mom and your aunt aren't here. I know. They're, I think they may come next week. Oh, will they? Oh, wow. Yeah. Every I, week now. I, I think, well, I, you know, we but told them. they're probably them. listening. They're listening. No doubt. They're listening. No doubt. So, hello. So, uh, we got to say hello to them. Uh, who am I leaving out? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We've got uh, toaster, to yeah. microwave. Yeah, um, we don't have the fax machine. They they up and left. Yeah, they unliked us. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think it was more we. Well, then everybody on the Twitter sphere, of course. Yes. Tuning in on the World Wide Web. And that one person in Guam. Yes. Yes. So hello to them. All right. So uh, we're gonna. It's time for some random thoughts. Okay. You're an Air Force person. Was yes. Yes. You've uh, you were in that in an area close to Area 50 once. Tell me. Tell me about Area 51. What's what, what's your thoughts about this place? You mean all the hubbub about it, or just the, you know, do they have aliens there or not? Uh, well, both, because that's what the hubbub's all about. Well, yeah. Well, first of all, yes, I do believe they have aliens there. I mean, we can't be alone in the universe. There's there's no no doubt. There's My there's other tries. My rule of thumb is is if God created everything, why would he have only created us? Right. I'm I'm there with you. I'm there with you. I think mm -hmm. that there's, you know, other other spots, you mm -hmm. know, and I don't know I don't know where we're on the totem. Hopefully, you know, he said he created a in an image of himself, so hopefully we're the top rung. Yeah. Um, but there's got to be a couple tries. I mean, <laughs> but that being said, <laughs> feeder planets yeah, <laughs> you gotta try some things out. You know, you gotta you gotta work through it. I mean, <coughs> you didn't create the light bulb. You know, li Edison didn't create the light bulb on the first try. No. You know, he went through thousands of tries. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yes, I th definitely aliens are at least top secret, hush hush stuff that we're not supposed to know about. Things happening like the Transformers. Yeah. You know, they're there. Obviously, I mean, uh, the movies are real life. Oof. And then, but the, all the hubbub, storming, yeah. why would you storm a place where they don't want you to be in there, and they're military, and they carry real guns? Well, that's a good, uh, do you know what a Naruto run is? A Naruto run? Naruto run. No, I have not heard of that. Uh, You're well going to have to inform me. Well, apparently that's what they're going to do. Oh, it must be that they're just going to overwhelm them? Is it that what they're going to do? It's like a Japanese anime thing. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah. By the way, our, our fabulous board off back at the station, Lars, uh, wanted to point out that Edison stole the light bulb. He did steal the light bulb? Yeah. I did not know that. Apparently, Nikolai Tesla. Oh, yeah, well, Tesla. But he made a really good radio. Yes, he did. Yes, really he good did. Radio. It has a good band. Yes. Yes. And it, it now has a real cool car. Oh, very the Tesla's true. Tesla's car. Oh, yes. my gosh. That's cool. Very, very true. Yeah. So. so, anyways, my thoughts: Area Fifty One. Yes, a lot of things going on, secret stuff. Um, aliens, I'm sure, got remnants of whatever. So I would not, would not test the military though. No, if you if there's weapons involved that uh, could poke holes into your body, yeah. very easily. Yeah, I say so stay away. And they're highly trained. Yeah. It's it's not the place that they put the guys that you know barely made it through basic training. No, no, these are these are these are solid cats. Yeah, these these are these are solid cats for sure. So we've got oh, about just under two minutes left to go here. So uh, it's bye week. Uh, your final thoughts for tonight's uh, 
pizza time with Ken Kessler. Well, we've been talking to our players this week about it, not looking at it as a buy as a rest week, but as a build week. Um, you know, we're going to hit the meat of what supposedly is our schedule coming up here. You know, you're going to have Sterling, Kansas Westland, Tabor, bang, bang, bang. And then I think we come back and play Avila. So, I mean, it's crazy first half schedule. Um, and it's something that we need to take advantage of getting as much as we can in improvement um, this week and next week. Because not a lot of teams get two weeks to prepare for their second game. And, you know, like I mentioned to you last week when we were playing for Southwestern, I'm planning for Southwestern that, you know, they were making that strides. They knew what they were going to have to do. That's what we did today. We watched we watched more film of the game. I, I took and broke down with our quarterbacks, and we, we looked at three plays today and how we can make those three plays better in our passing game, our reads, you know, route-wise, et cetera. So we can keep on doing that in about midweek. Uh, tomorrow and a little bit on Thursday, we'll start focusing a little bit more on Sterling for the following week. And we'll talk about that Sterling game next Tuesday night here at Pizza Time. Plus, it will be the first edition of Homer Call of the oh Year. Oh, really? Already? We will do Homer We've Call. We've got some. We've got some good quality candidates. We will we will call we will call the play by play and get the good quality candidates. But that's going to wrap it up for us here this week. Thank you for joining us for the Pizza Time Kent Kessinger Show. And we understand at the national level, Johnny Cueto is making his first start tonight since July 28th last year. He for the San Francisco Giants. The other note I saw, Kristen Yelich, MVP candidate in the National League for the Milwaukee Brewers. He came out of the game against the Marlins after fouling a ball off of his knee. Here's the pitch, and it is in there. Strike three called, so down goes Mondesi. That's three strikeouts, two of them looking by Ivan Nova. On the healthy front, well, I've been watching that Royals minor league system. Five of Kansas City's minor league affiliates earned postseason berths this year, matching Arizona, San Francisco, Tampa Bay, and Texas for the most minor league playoff berths by any organization. And Wilmington right now in high A is trailing Fayetteville two to one in the sixth inning. Dan Lynch who started the game out of the contest right now. Here's the pitch and Solaire swings and misses strike one. Lynch went five innings gave up two runs four walks seven strikeouts. But in low A Lexington is winning four nothing over Hickory in their playoff. Carlos Hernandez pitching really well. Allowing just two hits, no runs.